We are getting a look tonight at what coronavirus is doing inside the body of an infected person with the help of a Vanderbilt doctor. News 4's Ryan Breslin shows where the virus is causing the most damage. We know that coronavirus is a respiratory virus, so it attacks and reproduces in the cells in the respiratory system. Now, typically, it would be in the upper airways. That means your nose or the back of your throat, back of your mouth. In this case, COVID-19 is in the lower airways, so it's hitting in the low lungs. Normal lungs are, are fairly black. But Vanderbilt's Dr. Todd Rice shows that lungs with the COVID-19 virus look a lot different. You can see there's some white here and a lot of white in this lung. These are x-rays, but you can also see the contrast through CAT scans. So how are the lungs taking a hit? It uh, uses the cell to replicate uh, and produce more virus particles, more virus. Uh, and that uh, ultimately damages the cells in your lungs. Dr. Rice says the body's response to try and get rid of the virus is to attack those same cells, which causes more damage. The cough that you get is sort of the irritation of those cells in the lungs. Um, the fever is the body's response to the virus. Putting a breathing tube in a patient becomes a risk too because the virus lives further down than what healthcare workers can see. We can stir up a lot of droplets and particles of that virus and it's at a higher risk for us than to. With all that going on, you may still be wondering what makes it hard to breathe. That's a result of air sacs in the lungs being blocked. Uh, fluid leaks into those spaces in the lungs, and that fluid doesn't allow air to pass in or air to pass out. 